Caleb asks, what is the power difference in running the fuel pump on the block or on the back of the motor on the bell housing? Zero. There is no power difference whatsoever. It's more about convenience than anything else. Um, if I'm building a new car today, I'm going to run everything off the back of the block or, you know, on the back of the bell housing. Um, just for convenience. Um, the block mounted fuel pump does the same exact thing as a as a uh, bell housing mounted fuel pump so there's no difference whatsoever um, if you're going to be running some higher end stuff uh, like a lot of willies like his Super Bowl stuff and all that where you want to have like a high pressure type pump um, I would probably more so recommend back of the back of the block than you know a uh, front of the block mount. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we've got such great options. Today but horsepower too. wise, back to back on a standard carburetor system, zero difference. Well, you know, and I think that's a let's go ahead and wrap that up into another question that I get that is very similar to this. Yeah, it has nothing to do with fuel pumps, but. You know, there are some rules out there where you have to run all of the stuff on the front of the engine. Yeah. You know, with a, a versus a lot of times in dirt lay models we're running, you know, crank to water pump on the front, we're right. running power steering in the back. Um, but people get penalized if they do that. So tell me, is there a power difference to running your power steering on the back versus running everything off the front? Absolutely zero. Well, and I think that's a, that's a little bit of information that should be out there. No, it's, it should be out there because there's no difference whatsoever. Now, does the weight now, make much now, difference? I mean, we're talking, in, what, three pounds? In, in, in general, um, it's slightly more expensive to run it on the back okay. than it will be to run everything off the front um, if you're buying new stuff versus new stuff. But what, like a lot of these series that, that want to give you a weight penalty for running stuff on the back don't take into consideration is that, you know, most guys that are going to run a 602 class, for instance, are going to buy a car that's used from somebody. And who are they going to buy it from? They're going to buy it from either, you know, a 604 guy or a, or a super late model guy. And they're going to put their 602 in it. What's it come with? All these guys are running shit off the back. Mm -hmm. So now you, now you buy a car, but now in order not to take weight penalty, you got to buy all this new to go on the front of your engine? It's completely stupid to me. Yeah.